Welcome back to Final Cut Pro with the Fro. Today, I want to show you how you can use compound clips inside of Final Cut Pro. A compound clip is a special type of clip which allows you to group any combination of clips in the timeline or the browser and nest clips within other clips. So to create a compound clip, what you're going to want to do is select the clips you are wanting to nest together. Right here, I have four clips in the timeline, so I'll put these all together so you can see how it looks. So what you're going to want to do is highlight all the clips you want to put into a compound clip. And now we're going to right click and choose new compound clip. And then here you're going to be prompted with a pop up box. So you'll be able to change the name of the compound clip if that's something you want to do. I'll just leave it as this and hit OK. And now you can see it, it has nested all these clips together. So there's no individual clips anymore. And if you would like to use a keyboard shortcut to make the compound clip, all you have to do is hold the Alt and G key together. And now you can just hit OK. And if you want to break this compound clip apart, all you have to do is hit the shift command and G key. And now that has undone the compound clip. So what I like to use compound clips for is I can put all these clips together. And now let's say I wanted to add a LUT. What I can do is just go here and search for that. And I can drag the LUT onto the compound clip. And now from here, I can just change the look and it will apply this LUT to all of these clips. So you can adjust the look to however you want. And now it has applied that LUT onto this whole compound clip. And if we go inside here, you can see in the effects tab that the LUT isn't put onto these clips. That clip two, no LUT, and again, no LUT. But if we come back to the compound clip and we select it, you can see here in the effects that that LUT is on this whole compound clip. It's easier to go through and add it onto one clip rather than going to each clip and adding that LUT. And that will save you time while editing by using the compound clip. Another thing you could do with these compound clips, let's say you wanted to move this part of the edit into the beginning of the timeline. So we want to move it back over to this area here. What we could do is just select the clips that we want to nest together. So we'll hit command and just select the clips that I want together. And now we hit Alt G and then just hit OK. And now you can see if we double click, we can go into this compound clip and everything that we just highlighted is inside here. We can take this whole compound clip and drag it to anywhere else in the timeline. So I'm just gonna break this apart again. Let's say I try to put the whole music track into the compound clip. I'll show you what will happen. So now we just hit new compound clip, hit OK. You can see we're getting a black section inside of the compound clip. We only selected the video clips on this end, but we selected the whole music track. So when you play this back, you're not going to see any footage because of the music track. You can see when the clip starts, so this is it's just a black screen, but it has the music. And then when it comes to the end here, you could just hear the music again. So that's just something you want to make sure of before you make a compound clip and you don't want that black space in the compound clip. What you're going to want to do is just make sure that the music is cut to where you want the video clip to end. So now I've chopped down the music and I'll select all these parts here with the music. Now we can do new compound clip, enter. And as you can see, if I go inside here, there is no more gaps added to this. It's just the music at the bottom. Now we're able to move this to any part of the timeline that we want. Say I wanted to move these bunch of clips just over to the front, it won't let me move it. So sometimes if you're having that problem and you're getting the little crossbar, what you're gonna wanna do is just make sure that it's a compound clip. And now you should be able to move the compound clip to where you want it to go. Sometimes Final Cut Pro won't let you automatically reverse a clip. So if you come to the speed tool here and try to reverse it, sometimes this area will be grayed out just like down here. You can see I can't choose these. So if you're having that problem and you want to try to reverse the clip, what you can do is make it a new compound clip, hit OK. And now that will let you be able to reverse the clip. So I don't have that problem here today, but I've ran into that problem in the past. So that's a quick, easy way I found out how to get through that little issue. So that's all I have for everyone today. I hope you understand how compound clips can work and can help you in your next video edit. If there's anything else you need to know about Final Cut Pro, let me know in the comments down below.